Manchester United won Crystal Palace 2, a first win, Stevie, for Palace at Old Trafford mm -hmm. since 1989. And anybody who says they saw that one coming is probably a liar. Correct, yeah. I, I thought this was a home banker. I thought this was a game that would get Manchester United right back in the groove. And of course, it just went horribly, horribly wrong right at the end. Uh, total domination from United. Just couldn't break down a, a Palace side who, who just sat behind the ball. Uh, United, disappointingly, never really created clear-cut chances. Uh, the only argument United would have was, was a couple of penalty claims, one of which I thought was absolutely no question a penalty on Martial. So that would be the second one that wasn't given, you thought Correct. should have been. What about the first one that was given? There wasn't any doubt, was there? McTominay was fouled. No, no, that wasn't a problem at all. Just the guy from 12 yards. the problem was <laughs> getting the ball from the penalty spot into the back of the net. And, and everything was going great. You've got Pogba running for the ball to give it to Rashford. <laughs> you know, a little bit of humour thrown in, well done. <laughs> but then Rashford failed the test. First time he's ever missed a penalty. Yeah, hit the post, came out, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh dear. But then once they get the equaliser from uh, James, lovely goal, cuts in on the right, just picks the top corner out and delivers. Seven minutes to go, two minutes of the 90 minutes, and the referee adds five, and I'm thinking, you know what, they're going to pull this out of the fire. And then a disaster. On the break, Crystal Palace end up scoring and winning the game 2-1. You look at that game and, and probably if you're going to be hypercritical of United, it, it's something you just mentioned. It's all the ball that they had without really creating enough. Mm. How do they rectify this going forward? Because they were, they were very good. They just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Well, the one thing they can do is move the ball quicker. Yep. Uh, at the end of the day, it's difficult when you've got so many bodies in front of the goal. But in order to break it down, eventually, you have to do things with a, with a purpose and a pace. And everything that they did was kind of pedestrian. You played in a lot of games for Liverpool where you had so much of the ball. From time to time, you're going to get this type of game, aren't you? That you kind of, how the heck did we lose that when you did, despite having so much of the ball? It's about not panicking going forward, isn't it? Well, it's also about, there's a reason why people get paid a lot of money. And that's because they have a talent. And sometimes it can't be done in the way we would like. Sometimes it can't be done with intricate, good movement, good passing and good finishing. Sometimes it comes down to a bit of talent. And Manchester United today didn't show that talent that the players that they've got get paid to do. From what you saw, does it require a few changes for next time out? Or is it a case of, look, that was good enough as far as up to a certain point is concerned. We'll just play the same team maybe with one or two changes next time. They cannot, I don't think they can put a better side on the, on the field right now, to be honest. The transfer window's done. They have to figure a way out of either being able to break teams down with good football or they have to make sure that the talented players turn up and produce. Finally, the Palace fans will say, wait a minute, we won this game. All you're doing is talking about Man United. Let's end with Palace. They haven't been good first two games. Mm. That could and should be the shot in the arm they need to build on it now. They can't just win at Old Trafford and then go on another losing streak. Well, it should give them a fill-up, but the truth is that they defended doggedly. They, they got bodies in the way. They made it hard for United. They've only had, what, two shots at goal. <laughs> it's uh, all they needed. It's all they needed, but listen, it's a, it's a boost for them, but they've got an awful lot of work to, to, to do to, to go and win more games. Palace boss Roy Hodgson called it a heroic win for United. Just one of those days. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.